right there. Yeah, you come on up. You come on up. Okay, come on up. Give her, give her a hand. Come on up. Give her a hand. This is Michelle. Which last name? Huguenin. Michelle, I gotta be honest with you. You've been brought up here on false pretenses. A few weeks ago, Michelle, we asked people to nominate someone they knew who they loved, who had a significant need. We had over 114 nominations, Michelle, and you and your husband, Mark, were nominated 49 times. Mark is a machinist. On March 25th, he came down with a very, very bad fever and began having uh, seizures. Michelle took him to the ER where he was diagnosed with a very rare viral disease that has been only diagnosed about 120 times a year in the nation. Very, very rare. It's left him paralyzed from the diaphragm down. Michelle is facing the potential of becoming his full-time caregiver at home. She's a fourth grade teacher at Robert Lee Elementary. Now, happening right now, your two sons, Ryan and Cody, are with your husband, Mark, at the Wenatchee Clinic, watching on Facebook Live right now, so Mark can see you. No, he is, he's on that phone right there, watching live from his hospital room. So wave to your husband. Hey, Mark, we love you, buddy. This day is for you. This day is for you. Look around, Mark. Look around. These people are here for you, Mark. We love you, Mark. We love you, Mark. We have been told of a few needs that you and your bride might have. And so we've been talking with folks in the community who wanted to meet those needs. He needs to be home, but he can't get home right now because there's no ramp to get into his house. So why don't you open this up here? This card is concrete donated by Wenatchee Sand and Gravel for Stymac Construction and h and Construction to build a sidewalk and a ramp into Mark's house on May 1st. So it's ready when he gets home. You're not normally a crier? Well, buckle up. <laughs> I'd like to introduce to the stage a young gal named Ella May. Give it up for Ella May. Come on out, Ella May. LMA. For several years, I used a fancy hydraulic lift in my home that made life much easier. Then last year, we moved into a house that does not require its use any longer. It would be my honor if my lift could find a new home at your house. Please accept it as a gift from a girl who's used it lots and can vouch for its dependability. I hope it will bless your family like it blessed mine. <laughs> All right. Kevin Lackey, I work with Mark for over 20 years. We had a little fundraiser, a lot of people went together to do it. So there's a check for a little over $4,500. A check for almost $5,000. Now give it up for these guys up here. Good job, guys. This is from the people of Grace City Church. From our heart to yours, this is your gift. It's a check for $20,000 cash. Right here. Now, we've heard uh, that um, with Mark's new life in the wheelchair, okay, that there's gonna be some challenges uh, getting around, okay? And so hopefully uh, this gift will uh, help solve the challenge of help getting around, okay? So you open that up there. What's that? Oh my gosh. This has been the first ever opening ceremony of 2017 Apple Blossom Festival, but you can now say you were there. Incredible. Can't believe it.